It's summer. I'm looking out my window. I see this hot guy playing dominoes with his friends. In my head, I'm imagining I'm going down, massaging his neck. As I'm as massaging his neck, he looks at me and smiles. <laughs> I live in St. Jamestown. I've been living here for the past five years. And in the past five years, I've um, lived here with my children and I'm on OW. Since I've been here, it's been a bit difficult trip. It's been a difficult neighborhood, difficult place to be. And I walk around the neighborhood, everywhere I walk, I see poverty. I get $400 a month and this doesn't help me pay for the stuff I want like my cable bill and my um, phone bill and the tuition for my children. They do to go they do go to a First Nation school and I gotta pay for their bus fare. I gotta pay for everything. So I make ends meet by being a sex worker. I, I do practice safe sex. I do this for a living. My family, my children know it. They support me and because I because I can't able I'm, I'm not able to work properly. What'd you get, Mom? Oh, I got banana bread in there. And this is what I do. So I, I go through the neighborhood, I talk to people, and this is what I do in the, in the neighborhood. And I speak my mind. I just don't do it in the neighborhood. I go elsewhere. I have clients that call me, text me, and I do it at, their own, at my own convenience and at their own pace. I listen to myself right now and it's it's so sad, right? I could do better. I could do more with my experience in my life. Oh my God, it's crazy. Like, my children means a lot to me. For real? Yeah. How long have you been in St. Jamestown? Five um, years. Five years now. How long have you been doing this sex working thingy? Uh, 20 years. I don't want them to, to uh, feel that they have to do what I do because of poverty, right? So that's why I'm keeping them in school. I'm paying for tuition. I'm doing whatever I can to stay out of trouble. Like I was, I, I lived in poverty and my, my uh, family grew up in poverty and I don't want that to happen to my children. I'm an erotica. I do things like this, right? Eh? I give it to people to read and they always ask me, why don't you publish it? I never listened to them. I got like books and books and books of things. They said, why don't you publish it? I don't know how to do it and everything, right? I can give more to my family. I can give more. Just doing what I know what I want to do. <laughs> It's okay. Neither do I. Happy birthday, old timer. <laughs> you got a full set of chompers. They're actually dentures, so don't get too surprised. Uh, I don't do sex. I, I, I like sex, but I don't do sex work. It's in my head. I can make a guy come just talking to him. Seriously, I could. I could. I could. I used to work phone sex. In Winnipeg, if you stay longer than a couple of minutes, they pay you extra, right? And the more I got the guy going, the more they paid me. This is my neighborhood. I'll say, this is my neighborhood. This is where I live. Guys, you just love my voice. So my friend said, become 
a foreign sex worker. So I did. I made a lot, a lot of money. I used to make $660 a week. When I came to Toronto, I don't know where to start, know what they do. In my mind, it's so erotic that I have a book. I explore. I explore my feelings. I explore my mind. I explore everything. I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of writings. I could do things on the phone like people won't even imagine. I'd rather do things on the phone than fuck or suck dick. I'm actually proud of what I'm doing. Um, actually, I, I'm writing a novel right now. Um, it's it's um it's sex sex novel. I love erotic stuff. I like erotic food. I like playing the erotic the erotic um, play roles. I have um, an erotic mind that I put on paper. I want to publish it. I want I want someone to read it just to let let everybody know that I can I have this mind that maybe I'll make money with it instead of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I want to do.